Uh, hello guys, my name is Alfred Samanga and welcome to this second video on uh, on the Lagom tutorial series uh, in which we are going to set up our development environment for the for the Lagom project we are going to be working on. So, well, let's get right to it. So, in order for you to be able to write a Lagom application, you need to have either uh, SBT or Marvin is your build tool. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, a build tool is simply a, a program that allows you to automate the, the the compilation, organization of files, basically the building of a of an executable program from your source code. Yeah. So for for Lagom, we're going to work with SBT. So if you don't already have SBT installed. Let's go ahead and see how we can install it. So we're going to say SBT build two. Okay, so you can follow up this link and then you can say download. So if you are on a Debian machine, which is a Ubuntu or Debian, you can you can follow this part. If you're on an RPM based distro Linux, yeah, you can use this. I'm I'm running Fedora, so. I'm going to I, I was going to use this if I hadn't installed SBT already all right then uh, all other platforms you can download this and decompress well you can you can do this right now and then we can proceed after this yeah I already have SBT set up so I'm not going to do this on the other hand if you want to install Marvin you can just go ahead and type install Marvin and then um, yeah you can follow this link and you install marvin so to verify that you've correctly installed this you can type mv and version to check your marvin and then i'm running apache marvin 3.5.4 right uh you can also check your sbt version all right so this will take some time but uh yeah to show you the version of SBT that you are that you are running okay so you'll try to do this uh, loading whatever what okay so I'm running SBT version 1.2.8 so if you guys have any issues installing SBT or Marvin just uh, leave comments in the description below and I will come back to you and help you install any of these build tools anyway uh, once you have installed these tools you can head over to Dragon Framework website uh, and then here you go under try Lagom. Uh, we want to build a Lagom project and uh, we're going to be using Java you can use Scala it's up to you but I'm going to be using Java yeah i'm not very familiar with scala okay so here uh you get to choose your build tool so if you are a marvin person you can go ahead and follow the marvin link i'm going to be using sbt it's just a preference really of, uh, no reason for this choice i've just been using sbt for a long time so i'm going to go with sbt okay so it takes you to this page download the project from take up so what this will do it will create a, a project for you which is uh, a, a dummy project with uh, two microservices that you can start up from so it's a it's a project starter so i'm going to do this uh, then it's going to ask me a few questions about the information that i need for this project so there we go uh select your options project name this is going to be fredman fredman inventory okay organization here you can put your domain i'm going to put zw.co.alfred samanga you can put your domain there uh, okay and then that's it create project for me okay so it's going to create a zipped folder then I'm going to put this under my uh, code 
tutorials uh, logom there so okay and then i'll just wait for it to finish downloading okay so it's done downloading i'm going to show in a folder and then i'm going to extract this here uh, okay then i can delete this one don't need the zip anymore okay so this is the this is the project that we have so as you can see the project starter will create for us like a base application uh, with these uh, two microservices okay so you will notice that we have a Fredman inventory API and implementation and then there's an inventory stream API and implementation we'll talk about why we have uh, this this pair for each microservice an API and an implementation it's a uh, it's, it's how microservices are built in Lagom. basically you need an API which is what you give to the uh, to your clients for the microservices they are building and the implementation which is the actual implementation of this api okay so we have a project which contains configuration files about the project and then we have the build.sbt this file if you are using marvin you would have a pom.xml this is where you put all the build information about this project and then uh, yeah well you can take a look at it uh, that's what we have so we have uh, this microservice you list the microservices that you have and then you have an api definition and an, an implementation definition we'll go through this okay so and then you have a readme sbt this is just a tool just in case you don't have sbt installed you can use this runnable to build your project okay so let's go ahead and see how we can actually run this application in the terminal okay so what we are going to do is uh, we're going to change directory into code tutorials lagom right then all you need to do in order to run a lagom application is to type spt run all this will build all the microservices that you have uh, the first time you run this command it might take some time as it will be downloading dependencies and all that so we give it some time okay hmm all right we need to okay i forgot to rename this so let's just uh, rename the project into Inventory. Okay, and then we can cd into fragment inventory and just check that we have our contents. Right from you run the sbt run or command from within this directory. If you list your files and you see the build dot sbt here, then that's where you run your project from. So I'm going to say sbt run all okay so it might take some time as it downloads dependencies the first time it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time then afterwards after it has downloaded dependencies it will be much faster so let's just wait for it okay so once you see this uh is that blue that blue from saying press enter to stop and your application it means your application is started running so we can head over to our browser and then you can reach the test application at local so hello alfred 
Yeah. Basically, yes. So there is a simple the, the the default implementation which came with this project starter will simply say hello whatever name you provide here. You can say hello Alvin and hello Alvin. There we go. So our project is running. So what you do now is to you to use an, an, an IDE basically an integrated development environment because we can't be testing our code in a text editor well you can if you want to it's up to you but I use IntelliJ so I'm going to now import this project in my favorite uh, IDE you can use whatever IDE you are comfortable with so I'm going to start my IntelliJ and then import this project then you can start working from there so Sorry, I'm going to import project and then I go to the directory which is uh, code refresh tutorials lagom fragman inventory. Okay, so it's an SBT project. Next, uh, you can uncheck this library resources and then finish. And let's wait for IntelliJ to finish doing this. Okay, so IntelliJ is going to refresh the uh, the project from the build definition from build to SPT. And uh, this might take some time as well. Okay, so that's it. It's done. It's done syncing the project, so we can now view our files here on the project view. Okay, still loading, still indexing. This this can take some time, so let's just wait for it. And it's done. So here we can see we have our Fredman API and implementation. We have the Fredman Inventory Stream API and implementation, and these are our files. Okay. So, like I said, the structure of uh, a of 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 a Lagom application is defined in this build uh, in this build file build.spt in this case okay so anyway guys that's it for this uh, video uh, we'll talk about the structure of a lagom application in the next video for now i think uh, that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next uh, video cheers